kepada Presiden Jenayah? Saya bagi pihak Ayanda saya, Datuk Sri Najib, ingin membuat satu kenyataan media bagi pihak beliau. Dan ini adalah luahan isi hati beliau. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. After much reflection over the course of 26 months in prison and following significant recent developments relating to 1MDB, I have decided to make the following statement. First and foremost, it pains me every day to know that the 1MDB debacle happened under my watch as Minister of Finance and Prime Minister. For that, I would like to apologise unreservedly to the Malaysian people. The recent court hearings and conviction of the Petro Saudi executives in the Switzerland courts, as well as the recent article by The Edge, based on their analysis of the case, as well as internal Petro Saudi emails in their possession, again proves that I am not the mastermind and did not collaborate with Jolo in deceiving 1MDB of its funds. The Edge had reached a conclusion in the article that Petro Saudi and Jolo had collaborated to deceive me that I was not aware that Petro Saudi was siphoning 1MDB funds and I did not knowingly receive any money from the funds sent by 1MDB to Petro Saudi. As hard as it is for some people to fathom or understand, I was advised and honestly believed at the time that the funds I received were political donations from Saudi Arabia. As established by court proceedings, they were indeed two confirmed large donations in 2010 from the government of Saudi Arabia. Those were not the subject of any criminal nor civil proceedings. With the benefit of hindsight, when various parties began to question what was happening at 1MDB, I should have acted differently. I did initiate various investigations, but I was inclined to believe the explanations by the board and management. And then when I became suspicious about what was actually transpiring at 1MDB, my immediate concerns were its financial predicaments and the risk it posed to diplomatic and bilateral relations at the highest level. I have already been punished politically, but as I am clearly not the mastermind, and neither did I collaborate with Jolo, as recent events have shown, I should not be victimized legally too. I'm still in deep shock, knowing now the extent of the wretched and unconscionable shenanigans and illegal things that happen in 1MDB. I deeply regret what has taken place at SRC and 1MDB. However, being held legally responsible for the things I did not initiate or knowingly enable is unfair to me. And I hope and pray that the judicial process will, in the end, prove my innocence. That is all. Saya mengambil kesempatan ini untuk ucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada semua penyokong ayanda saya yang hadir dan juga semua pengamal media yang sudah hadir pada hari ini dan saya dengan rendah diri memohon agar tuan-tuan dan puan-puan berdoa agar urusan mahkamah 
ayanda saya pada 30 Oktober diperbudahkan dan ayanda saya berada di pihak kemenangan insyaAllah Terima kasih sekian Wabilai Taufik Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Terima kasih sekali Terima kasih 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 Terima kasih